Hello, hello. It is Sandy, and today was um, a really hard day for me. Um, I usually try to stay really, really strong. You guys see me in my videos, and this is really putting a glitch in my happy life. Um, I'm realizing that I'm one of those people that keeps everything inside. I try to always be strong. It's my nature. And um, this is taking a toll on me where I just need to let it all out. And I'm starting to realize that maybe I do need to let it all out and cry. Um, I feel that it is very, very important to show that I look healthy and um, like nothing is wrong with me. So I am the face of breast cancer. I don't want... Um, other women to ignore different symptoms, although I didn't have any. And the only thing that I really ignored was having a mammogram. And hopefully um, some of you will not do that. And through me posting and just showing you my process, although it's not always fun, I'll get through it. And all the survivors out there with your stories, it gives you so much hope. Um, I know that God has a bigger plan for me, and I hope to someday share how I got to where I am right now because the process has been so quick. I just wanted to um, say thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of you that have reached out to me and embraced me, although you just met me. Um, I feel like my true calling was always just to share the talent that God gave me. Um, and that is that I've been crafting pretty much my whole life. Um, I was a union carpenter, and I used to do the trade shows, and I read blueprints. And I think that that has really helped me when I go in Dollar Tree and I look at something and I say, well, we can make this, this, and this, because that's just how my mind works. Um, and I'm happy that I can share that with all of you. I have pre-recorded um, some videos because I don't know what the next two weeks are going to be. Um, I've already decided that I will charge ahead, um, that I will continue to do what I can do when I feel up to it. I am looking forward to opening my store, renting space to my craft vendors the way my dream was supposed to be when I opened it a year ago. But I do have another new plan that I will be working on in the next few weeks. I have a few things that I'm working on, but with all these testings, it's been a little bit overwhelming for me. And I'm not the kind of person to take people's money and not follow through. And if I make a commitment, that means something to me because all we truly own in this world is our word. So um, value that. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, that I think you should follow through and do it. But that's who I am. So with that being said, I most certainly, if you order from me, um, you will get your items. And please know that my best intentions are always there with everything that I share with you and that I do. So the other thing that I wanted to share today was some of the gifts that I've been getting in the mail. And I can't even tell you how overwhelming um, and humbled I am that you guys think better of me. I've always been one to give more because I never really felt I needed anything. And I just want to say thank you. Um, I love for you guys to see my kitchen, but it's kind of hard for me to move around. Um, but my I started my wall, and whenever I'm feeling down or whatever, the first thing I see when I come in are all the cards that you guys send me. So, I wanted to share some of the gifts that I have been getting, and to let you guys know that I am using all of them. Um, I've got different journals, and I journal in them, and I've gotten pins that I put on all my different bags. So I just wanted to say, <clears throat> first of all, I did show in some of the pictures um, this is a bag from Donna. She made this for me, and the tag came from someone else, but I use this all the time. I just wanted you guys to see. I have the little bags and things. I have somebody else sent me, um, and I'm sorry. I have so many people sending me things. I'm trying to remember everyone, but I put my little lotion in here, and I have um, someone sent me a little piece of paper, and um, this little paper that's... Uh, 
you know, the boxing gloves. So I keep this in here with a pen. So when I go to the doctor, I have everything I need in here. And they give me um, this huge binder now, which is kind of like my cancer journal. Um, I keep everything in here that um, I need for uh, my test results, what I have coming up, and different things like that. And it's also good to have my family, you know, my history for my son, and hopefully one day my future grandchildren, um, because this is very, very important. And then she also sent me this really big. Um, bundle of bracelets that I'm going to sell at my store. Um, I'm planning on opening um, back up right before Thanksgiving and on December 3rd I am going to do, my son is going to host a fundraiser for me because even though I have insurance um, I have a large deductible that I have to pay on everything and all the medical bills are coming in and I don't have any employees right now, so I'm going to need to hire staff, and I most certainly don't want to lose my business. So um, on December 3rd, um, I'll be doing a fundraiser, so a lot of these items, and we'll have items to raffle. So um, I'll be able to at least give these out and at least um, have these in my store. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for these, because um, we're all wearing them now. Although I took everything off today because I don't want to lose anything when I go for my medical test. So I did get that. That. Um, today I got a package I got quite a few today and this one here came from Cecilia and she commented on my page that she was happy to see that I got the box and I could I started to cry when I opened the box because I can't believe the beautiful gift she sent me so um, not that anybody's gifts um, don't make me cry because believe me they do but this one here um, I just wanted to read you the little note that she sent me and I have to say that I am very very impressed with her beautiful handwriting because I scribble I can't even read my own writing sometimes so she just said um, Sandy this is a rag quilt Although it isn't made of rags, the quilts were in the 1700s due to the lack of material and textiles. Rag quilts are known for their warmth and softness because of the material in the seams are allowed to bloom. When the material is cut to the seams and the blooms when laundered, and it blooms when laundered, I wanted to make this for you to keep you hopefully warm and comfortable during your repercussions. Also, I hope that you will be reminded that there is a whole bunch of people in this journey with you. This quilt is just a small token of appreciation to you. For inspiring us in everyday life and crafting endeavors. Well, first of all, I'm happy that I inspire you. I'm really, really happy that I can do that for all of you. That that touches my heart. I'm, I, you can see how much it touches my heart. I'm so happy that I... I, I listen to God and I'm doing this. Um, she goes on to say, um, thank you for your time and energy that you exhibit to all of us on Facebook. My prayers and love have been with you and will continue to be. So she did send me a little card with it and also care instructions. So when I took it out, I was so completely shocked because she made this and it's heavy. It's really, really heavy. And this is a blanket, and it's so big, and it's so beautiful. Look at this beautiful blanket. And I guess this is what she's talking about, like when you launder it, and it starts to bloom in the seams. But look at all the little different patterns, and it's so big. I'm going to take this with me to the hospital because I don't like to use anybody else's sheets. <laughs> so I'm going to see if they'll let me use this. But look at how big... And I mean, this is huge. The time that she took to make this, I'm just so touched that it's so big and it's so beautiful and it's like the perfect blanket for winter. So I wanted to say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I, I, I can't believe that you thought so much to send this to me. 
um, it will be cared for and loved and treasured for many, many, many years to come and a reminder of all of you that are touching my life. So I wanted to share these things because they mean so much to me. You have no idea how much this means to me. So I wanted to share that with you guys. It's just so beautiful. I mean, it really, really, I wish you guys could see it in person because it's so beautiful. Then I got um, other items here. I just wanted to open everything with you. I didn't want to do a live video because it's too hard for me to see back and forth and to answer everybody. So I wanted to do a video and show everybody everything that I'm getting. And today I got, let's see what else I got. As you can see, I wear reading glasses. I don't have to see all the time. So this one is it's really in here good too. Here is a little basket of, oh, look how cute. Now, this girl here is Sherry. Um, she has been my friend. My phone's going off, sorry. She has been my friend from when I did the craft shows, and she would host the craft shows here, and she's now in Florida. So if there's anybody that watches me, um, I will find out what part of Florida, if you're interested in doing the craft shows. Her and her husband, Carl, are so fun. And she made this little basket for me, but I wanted to show you guys the little bears that she makes. And she donates a lot of her bears. And she made me one. So I wanted to share with all of you this little basket. Look how cute this little bear is. It's a little, she makes bigger bears too. So here is the little cancer bear. How cute is that? So you can see how cute he is. Um, she makes these, and you can purchase these. I know that they're not that expensive. So I'll tag her in this video, and she can put her information up where if you'd like to buy a little bear or you'd like to donate to her cause, you can do that. And she put a bunch of um, things for breast cancer in my little basket. Oh, she's got all kinds of things in here. And it's really funny because when I did um, the craft shows with her, I won something and she was laughing because I was so excited that I won this basket of goodies. So she sent me a whole basket full of oh, um, breast cancer socks. There's all kinds of little scarves and head wraps because I'm most certainly going to need that. So thank you so much, Sherry, for your beautiful, beautiful gift. And of course, there's a little card in here. I gotta take them all and I gotta hang them on my wall because I love having them there. Celebrate, dream, create, wonder, enjoy, discover, live, laugh, and love. Sending you all our love and hugs and prayers and know that we are with you. Love, Sherry. So thank you so much, Sherry. I love my little bear. Um, I am going to treasure this for um, all the days of my life. I'll cherish everything. You guys will be with me for the rest of my life. So... The other thing that I did get was this beautiful blanket, and I look for everybody. This is from Barbara, and Barbara sent me this. This is from, um, they have those charity organizations, so whenever you buy something, um, a portion goes to the cause. So this is a blanket that I got too, and these are perfect blankets for me to um, take when I have my chemo. This one I'm taking with me to the hospital because I want to keep myself nice and warm with this one. And then this one is from my good friend. Um, and she sent me this one and this little bear. She sent me this bear. Um, she was the first one when she heard that I got diagnosed. She sent me this little bear that my Lulu would love to get a hold of, but I put him high, and I probably will take this with me too when I go and get my chemo because these little things help me um, and comfort me. So I love all of this stuff. And then I got this box, and at the post office they were like, Ooh, look, donuts. So let's see what we have in here. So 
So I feel like it's Christmas Day and they said, oh, we're going to have to keep an eye out for all your stuff because it seems like you're getting a lot of items. I said, well, I was surprised myself. It only said I had a package, so I didn't know what it was. So this one, oh, here's another pink blanket. Um, this is a micro plush throw. I use all of these. I keep them on my sofa, and one just is never enough. Sometimes in the wintertime, you want, like, all these blankets to, like, cuddle in. So this is perfect. And then there's a bag full of different goodies in here. Here's another pair of socks. Here's a hat. I'm going to need a lot of hats, guys. Um, I'm looking into, look at the cute hat. Oh, and this is, a, I was thinking of getting this. Oh, and I, I, you know what, I have one Bible, and she gave me a new Bible. She gave me some crossword puzzles, and I have to read the box because, oh, here's the card, because I have so many things. Oh, and here's a spiral notebook. See, I love this stuff because, um... I keep notes in different things, and I have so many different things going on that it's really helpful. So here's a little bag full of all types of goodies that I can take with me when I go and I have Kleenex. I could have used this today for sure. I was bawling my eyes out. And there's little hand lotion in here. This is so cute. Thank you so, so much. I want to read the box. Um, and if there's no card in some of these, please comment so that I know who sent this to me. This is from Phil's Friends, We Bring Love. So, I don't know if there's another card in here if I missed it. So please let me know who sent me this. Okay, so this says Phil's Friends. Oh, this is from Linda. Okay, now I got it here. The righteous shine forth and the sun. And it says, his work is beautiful. His work in you is so beautiful. Keep shining with the light of his presence. Linda, thank you so much. I'm going to read all of this. My popularity today is unbelievable with how many people are texting me. I think I'm going to turn this off for a second because I don't know who keeps texting me. So I'm going to turn that off so I can get through this. Oh, look at this. Phil's friends. We bring hope. And everybody signed it. Oh, is that, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, Phil's friends. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Thank you so, so much. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you. So you can see, I have, I have a lot of stuff. This is like Christmas because I don't normally tell people to buy me anything. I normally am the giver. Um... And I hope that you guys saw my little baby hat for the little hats, big hearts. I do that. And I don't care what it takes. Um, this year on Christmas Eve, um, I've been doing this also for the past few years. I make up bags for the homeless. And um, last year, I think I gave away 60 bags. And the year before that, I did, I think, 30. So I was trying to double it. Um, and get more, and I wrap them up a Christmas gift, and I put a scarf, and I put gloves, and I put warm socks, and then I give them treats, because I think that that's important that they get something fun on Christmas. Um, I make sandwiches for everybody, and I go out early on Christmas Eve, because I go to this missionary, where they're all waiting for their meal, and I pass out all these bags to the men and the women there that are homeless, that they need our love. You know, so many times we pass them on the street, and, um, we don't even look at them like they're another human being, and I've always been one. If I have a lunch, I give it to them because I know I'll eat later. So I've always been the giver, and I don't expect anything in return. I just It brings me joy to do it, so um, this is like a special treat for me. So this one is another very large box, and this is from Teresa. Wishing you God's blessing and make you well. I'm hoping you know how special you are and praying every day that God will bless you, renew your strength, and help you heal. Yes, this is from Teresa, and this morning I told her I got her package from her, so I want to definitely open this up and see what I got. And this is a really big box. So, I mean, this is very, this is a huge box. I mean, 
you guys don't have to do this for me. Um, it's amazing though. I can't, I can't believe. That you guys are doing this for me. So it's like my birthday and Christmas all in one. Oh, how beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, Teresa. We've been making the Santa hats. And she made me a beautiful hat. Thank you so much. This is so cute. I make them and I give them away. And my son's girlfriend had asked me for so many. And I didn't make one for myself. And here this one represents like breast cancer. Um, with the pink. Thank you so much. It's so cute. You did a beautiful, beautiful job. She said, I'm not as good as you. You're just as good if not better. Thank you so much. Ah, I can't believe how cute it is. And then she sent me, oh, look at how cute. She sent me this little candle set with the hearts. That's so cute, too. And I love candles in the wintertime. And she sent all kinds of presents in here. I'm spoiled. I want to see if I can pull it out. Oh, look at she made this, too. How cute is that? That is so cute. And you know what? I have to give up caffeine. So I'm really drinking a lot of coffee these last few days. Um, and I'm going to be drinking just water. And these are absolutely perfect. They're perfect when I go for my treatment to have water with me. Um, this is so cute. You did a, a beautiful job on that. And here's another little pin. This is a cancer awareness pin. Oh, it's a little necklace. A little cancer, breast cancer awareness and let's see and I have this one she has another little envelope in here oh and she put a bunch of little scarves you guys I'm gonna be wearing these like quite frequently because I have to represent right I got to here's another cute little journal this one's perfect for my purse it's nice and small and here's two pairs of pink breast cancer socks. So I have to have these on when I go for my treatment because I heard I'm going to be there for at least three to five hours. So i got to keep my tootsies warm. And here's another pair. Oh, look how cute these are. Pink power. Um, and here's another one that says stay strong. They're so cute. Thank you so, so, so much um, for all your gifts, for, for thinking of me, for asking for my address. Um, I'm not one. I, I, I felt a little funny at first, and then I hear God's voice saying, take whatever somebody's willing to embrace you with. So um, I'm going to do that, and you guys make me smile, so thank you for that. And then I got another package here. This one is from Tammy. And I try to keep everybody's address private. I don't want anybody's address out on the internet. And I can hear something in there. I feel like a kid, like shaking the packages, like on Christmas when my mother would try to hide what we were getting. I wish so many of you lived closer so that when I opened my store, I could see all of you. Oh, this is a little candle, too. It's a breast cancer candle. Oh, look how cute. This will be burned. I will use this because I love candles in the wintertime. I burn them all the time. So this will be used, definitely. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And this one. Oh, here's a little. Oh, look how cute. Oh, my goodness. Look, at it's a little boxing glove that says Faith. That's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Just wanted to let you know I am thinking about you and praying for you every day. You have so many people that care about you, Tammy. Thank you so much. I love the little boxing glove. That's so awesome. Thank you so, so much. And then I got two more cards. And I have to say that um, I love all the little stickers you guys are putting on my envelopes. I save all the envelopes because when I am back to myself, I'm going to send all of you something Um to let you know how much I appreciated all of you during my journey 
um, to just say thank you. So I already have something in mind and I can't wait to be able to make you smile when you get something back from me. So all these cards, these all go, the world needs more people like you. The world needs more people as thoughtful as for joy is part of each nice thing you do. The kindness you share brightens so many days. Thank you for all your wonderful ways. Aw, love your friend Judy. And hi to Lulu too. So enjoy your crafts and your positive attitude with all you've been hit with in a short time. Prayers every day to you, my Facebook friend. I feel you are in my home every time I watch you and the things you share. Thank you so much. And I do hear that. You know, I never thought, I was so worried about talking on video because um, I'm like, I'm going to look like a goofball. Um, but I just talk to it like I'm talking to a person. So <laughs> that must be some kind of a special trait. But thank you so much. And I have one more card here. And all your cards are on my wall. I show you every time I fill it up. And when that wall gets filled, I have a huge wall at my store. And I'm going to start filling up the store too. And I have a plan for my store um, that I'm going to implement as soon as I can. And I know more about my surgery because I know that I'm currently looking at a mastectomy. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work out. And um, I'll have to hire people to help me at the store. So this one is bringing you words of special comfort. This is from Denise. No matter what tomorrow brings, nothing can change the courage you've inspired, the happiness you've given, or the inner strength that is so much a part of you. So thank you. Always pray prayers for you. Forever in my thoughts, stay strong. The Lord is with you, Denise. Thank you so much. So I just wanted to take the time. I'm sorry if this video was so long, but um, I did want to take a minute to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all the things you guys are sending me. They mean the world to me. I keep them out in my house so that I can see them and I can use them. And I'm reminded um, why I go to do another video and why I. Um, it's important to me to pre-record so that I can post something and I can edit later in case I can't get there. But I'm not going to let that stop me. You will still see me. I know my appearance is going to change because that's normal. Um, but there will come a day that I'll be back. Me. But my spirit will always be the same. So thank you again. I just wanted to do this to let you guys know how much you all mean to me. And I can't express how grateful that I am. So um, you'll be seeing a video tomorrow. I have something for all of you once again. And thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I did receive beautiful flowers too from my um, childhood friend Debbie. So I just wanted to say that and they're still fresh and they're still bloomed and I love them. So thank you so much and I will chat with all of you soon. Bye now.